njegala gabana ko nawe mudachika ntono ngo lyao mu nyumba yo I want to share with you in your house for a few minutes Abali kumiri mu sawa zino Those who are at work at this moment Nainga earphones mu ziri matu But you have your earphones on Mukama chibabalide May the Lord count the blessing for you. Abali kumiri mu sawa zino nga kaledio ko linako Those at work right now but you have your radio with you Ngolia skari Yohana skari Duka jokola mwedwa lili okola mulikola 24/7 The shop of the hospital where you work you work 24/7 Oli mutunzi wa mafuta You are at the petrol station you sell fuel Gana ye radio yokweli But your radio is tuned Sabiye kisa kya katonda kibere wa mnawe I pray the grace of the Lord is with to be with you Edanga tugamana ebigambo bino And as we share these words Obulambo bule mikusigala chechimu That your life will not remain the same Yes ye bazwe Praise the Lord Njagala gabana ko nawe ekigambo ekigamba the need for deliverance Njagala gabana nawe ekigambo ekigamba obwetavu bwo kusumulura The need for deliverance Obwetavu bwo kusumulura Nge kanisa twalo koka As a church received salvation Ngo mukulistayo waloko kawakiriza Yesu Kristo kubera mulokozi wo As a Christian you accepted Jesus Christ to be your Lord and Savior Na ye omuntu alina omuntu ali alimu ebitundu bisatu But man is in three parts Omuntu moyo Man is a spirit Ogwamba do mubiri That is clothed with flesh Ngaguline meme That has a soul Ebitundu ebyo nebi satu. Those three parts bifuna chetu ita deliverance. All receive deliverance. Deliverance yo moyo gwo. The deliverance of your spirit wajifuna olunaku lwakiriza Yesu Kristo okubera omulokoziwa. That you received on the day you accepted Jesus Christ to be your savior. Olunaku lwakiriza Yesu Kristo okuba omulokoziwa. The day you accept Jesus Christ to be your savior. Immediately your spirit receives deliverance. Mbagirawo omoyo gone gufuna okununulibwa oko. Kastokiriza Yesu Kristo. The moment you accept Jesus Christ. Okuva muntu abo yo mutima gwo. From the bottom of your heart. No yingira mundagane eyo. And you get into that covenant. Ore sale yo joko la simanyo baba ntu bachi mainti ne sale yo bloko zeyo ngatujatula bibira bigambe bituyingiza mundagano ne Kristo. Of because of that prayer that you make that I don't know if people know that that prayer they make are uh, words that bring us into covenant with Jesus Christ. That is the first covenant we make as we come to Christ. The covenant of salvation. And as we say those words out Eri obwaka bako bwekizikiza nti tubusibudde ne tu declaring eri obwaka baka obwo musana obwo obwaka baka bwa katonda katubuyingide We declare unto the kingdom of darkness that we've bid them farewell and then we declare to the kingdom of light that we've come into it Echo chibawo mbagirawo That happens immediately Mbagirawo Immediately Then ekitundu ekirala ye memeyo The other part is your soul Ememe yo muntu efuna okusumululwa man so receives deliverance mungeri je tuita eya eri progressive in a progressive way mungeri eri progressive mungeri eva kudala eita mu mitendera in a progressive way step by step mbaja kozese ekigambo mutume paulo kya kozesa mu kitabo kya balumi I'll use the word Paul uses in the book of the Romans. Musule ye 12. In chapter 12. Akoze se kigambo transformation. Okuchusibwa. Transformation. Okuchusibwa. Transformation is a form of deliverance. Okuchusibwa nacho chikacha kusumululwa. Nti obera ke obera ku embera josangibwam that your phone in a certain state goline ndaba yebintu there is a way you perceive things entegera yebintu the way you understand things enkola yebintu the way you carry out everything eranga enkola eyo esimbibwa nnyo mu mirandira jobuzalira nwa oba mu mirandira eja bichibyo zoyitam 
And that system is so much established through the journey you've gone through as you grow up. In Romans 12 verse 1, Bible gamba, therefore I urge you brothers in the view of God's mercy to offer your bodies as living sacrifices, holy and pleasing to God. This is your spiritual act of worship. Number two, do not conform any longer to the pattern of this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. And then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing, and perfect will. Chenvu dembe gairi la bolu ganda, uroksa sila kwa katonda, ukuwanga ye mebili jamwe, nga sadake namu, entukuvu, esanyu sa katonda, kwe kuweleza kwa muku wa magezi. Sote mufa na njizibu wange mire mbe jino, na ye mchusibwe, mchusibwe ngoro kufula magezi gamu wa maja, murioke muke menga bwebili katonda bia ya gala, ebiru unji, ebisanyu sa, ebitufu. Mkama yeba zwe. Praise the Lord. Ememe za fe zisu mululua. Our souls are delivered. Bwe tuwa tuogira kumeme, tuwa tuogira kuchitundu, echomu ntu, awatula ebido wozo, oba watula endo woza yomu ntu. When we speak about the soul, we mean that part of man where the mind is or where the thoughts dwell. Awatulo busobozi, buo kutegira, ebi ntu webidi no kubeda. Where the ability to understand or perceive how things ought to be dwells. Agambanti, wetubate tunalokoka. He says that before we receive salvation. Mind zizafe. Our minds. Endoza zafe. Our minds, our thoughts. Ememe zafe. Our souls. Zirina pattern. Mwizitambulira. A pattern through which they move. Zirina endaba yebi. They have a way they perceive things. There is a life in which they move. Agamba, do not conform any longer to the pattern of this world. Conformity It's it means this thing is, is in correlation to the patterns of the world. When you conform with something. Salvation finds us in conformity in a certain thing. When we agree with them. That is the life in which we move. That is the love that has given us our habits. It gives us a way of worship. It gives us our conduct and behavior. Verse 2. Do not conform any longer to the pattern of this world. You know, Oluganda lule kaye bigambo. Lule kaye bigambo. Agambi, do not conform any longer. Temuda muna te kufana nyizibu wanga. So, do not conform any longer. Echigambi echu, any longer, which means until you have to put an end. Chitegeza, nchoi not take away komo. Walie mabiga, obado conforminga, obado kiriziganya. Before you've been in agreement, you've been conforming. Obado kiriziganya nechi intu chino, inti omufu wamanyi okusingo omulamu. You've been conforming with this thing that a dead person is mightier than the one who is alive. Because of society in which we grow up. Because of the traditions that nurture us. These traditions all come up on the cultures of going to take away the weeds from the washing the dead. Such cultures come from the conformity 
that has the belief and understanding that is the dead that sustain the living. That the dead are mightier than those who are alive. So, Paul atugamba. Therefore, Do not us, conform any longer. Tusangibwa to conforming. Tusangibwa si kwefa ananyiriza. Mpuli de chigambo kwefa ananyiriza. It's not, it's not the right word for conformity. E, okukiriziganya. Do Te, not be conformed. Yes. Temuda muku kiriziganya. Do not be conformed. Temuda muku tambulanga. Do not walk in such a way. Temuda muku labintu. Do not do things any longer like you used to do them. Stop honoring the things that you, you've been honoring. Do not fear any more the things you used to fear. Do not have that mindset any longer. When we receive salvation, our spirits receive that deliverance there and then. But our souls and yet the soul is the one that determines how we behave, how we live our lives. That is where the understanding dwells. That is where decision dwells. So, do not conform any longer. The author tells us, do not conform any longer. So my question to you is salvation, which things does salvation find you conforming with? Some of you are conforming with taking alcohol and you are conforming to adultery you are conforming to sorcery conforming to idolatry that when someone does you evil you have to be with them you, you conform with revenge if someone does you bad you do the same to them if you look at the life and examine it, there were things that you used to conform with. Those things that you used to conform with have roots and power over your life. That is what the Bible has taught and said in Matthew chapter 4 and verse 16. It was our Lord teaching I love verse 16. We shall return to Romans Matthew chapter 4. Matthew the chapter is 4. Verse 16. This is what the Bible says. The people living in darkness have seen a great light. On those living in the land of the shadow of death. A light has dawned. Those people who used to dwell in darkness. I want to inquire, have you ever dwelt in darkness? Have you ever walked in darkness as a family? Have you ever walked in darkness as a person? That life of staying in darkness. There are very many things we do there are in. Number one, we are busting it. And, and it's a light that welcomes us on the earth if you're not born to, you're not born to the born agains. 
to the patterns of the world. The world has a system it takes things through. There is a way the world handles the various aspects of life. But he says those who used to live in darkness and light has shined upon them. And those who dwelt under the shadow of death great lights dawned on them. And the thing is that the life we spent living under darkness we never knew that we were living in darkness we never knew that we were living under the shadow of death and we did very many things or they did these things on our behalf conformity that gave us that conformity. That bound us with ropes. That held us captive. That gave the, if the spiritual realm of the, the darkness over our lives. Agambie, inti omusana, guaya kidabo, abali batude, wansi. That the light shined over those who are living under darkness. Who are living under the shadow of death. The shadow of death was the umbrella over their lives. Are you saying we shall not die? There is death that is designed on the calendar of God. But there is death that is under darkness. It is under the arm of the evil one. Agambe, do not conform any longer. Do not be conformed any longer. Do not be, be conformed any longer. Time. The time we spent under the shadow of death. Under the power of darkness. And the words are safe. Our mindsets, our perceptions and understanding, our lives, and everything that we do, they were bound by those systems. Many times we see salvation. It retains a grip over our lives. That is why Apostle Paul tells us that if you are to stop this conformity, you have to renew your mind. Mind your wing and how do you renew your mind? You feed it with the word of God. You feed it with understanding. And that understanding you receive is what sets you free. You no longer have conformity with the darkness. You're no longer in conformity with the power of the shadow of death. Why? Because the 
there is a truth you've understood. Right now you're not governed by the blood that was shed. You're not shed by the covenants of your forefathers. You're not shed by the words that they declared. But this time alone, you're ruled over by the word of God. This time when it's the authority in the blood of Jesus that reigns over you. This time when it's the power that is in the name of Jesus that reigns over you. Agambie be transformed. Agambie mchusiwe. By the renewing of your mind. Breaking that conformity. There is a conformity that we found in the family where we landed. And it is a kind of conformity that nurtured us. And it brought us to a level Netu, until Jesus saved us. But because we took a lot of time in that world, our minds are found with strongholds, with perceptions with understandings that are so hidden deep within our minds. And then apostle says be renewed. Do not conform any longer to the patterns of this world but by but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. The mind must be renewed. By breaking the old conformity. We will be able to list down the things that lie in the old conformity. And actually, as you sit down, as you study your life, you know it is very challenging when the Bible, when the word of God says another thing and you discover your life is walking in an opposite direction. Yet, you have changed the citizenship from, from sitting under darkness to light. But the way you struggle with life, it is as though you are still seated under the governance of darkness. So, he says, renew the mind. Feed the mind with a new pattern. Feed your mind with a new understanding. Confirm, conform your understanding to a new look of the things of God. Conformity with the patterns of the world. Conformity with the darkness. The grip of darkness upon our lives. We received salvation. The Bible says we become a new creation. There is no condemnation unto those who are in Christ Jesus. But when you come back to the reality of life, you find there is still a struggle of life. Then you have to get back. What are those conformities? What are those bondages that are still having a grip on my life? 
Bintu che obiencha kiriziganya na yomigu wache jajicha ina obu inza kulambu wange. At times when we say biencha kiriziganya na biyo, still also it brings an understanding that like omuntu okera kumacha nugama anti inzikiriza. But there are things that happened onto our lives or there are things that were done mubulamu wafe. Waliye bintu ebi yako leba mubulamu wafe. Let's say, let me just take examples. Someone is born and is initiated into the dark world. He's initiated into the pattern of evil worship. Into the pattern of the demonic world. Because because the family from which they are born has sorcery, witchcraft, and things of that kind. So that life is surrendered. At times, even without your consent. But when you receive salvation, then the battle begins. Because you are doing, you are walking away from the old conformity. Now you are beginning to build a new pattern of life that has not been there. There there is a struggle. This has the, the, the world of darkness where we come from. It is struggles to hold us back. It struggles to retain us. It struggles to hinder the callings of God upon our lives. It struggles to make sure that the promises of God becomes null and void in your life. But also, as an individual, because daily you read the word of God, you need to arise and claim that which belongs to you. And fight against the old conformity. Those that were sitting in darkness. And you see with this darkness. You know at times we get born again and we are like it is done. And we find the preachers who tell us it is finished. And indeed it is finished. But when you look at the reality of life, you find some things that are not yet done. Isaiah chapter 65. Let me show you some of the conformities of the, of the old life. Isaiah chapter 65 verses 3. He says, A people who continually provoke me to my face. How do they provoke the Lord to his face. Number one. Offering sacrifices in gardens. And burning incense on altars of brick. Those who sit among the graves. And spend their nights keeping sacred vigil they spend their nights keeping secret vigils who eat the flesh of pigs and those pots hold broth of unclean meat who say keep away do not come 
near me. For I am too sacred for you. Such people are smoke in my nose. A fire that keeps burning all day. See, it stands written before me. I will not keep silent. But will pay back in full. I will pay it back into their laps. Both your sins and the sins of your forefathers. Says the Lord. Because they burned the sacrifices on the mountains and defiled me on the hills. I will measure into their laps the full payment for their, for their former deeds. Praise the Lord. I want to believe Bunobulam I want to believe you no longer subscribe to this kind of life. But those that are, sub, are, are still living this kind of life, the Bible says they provoke the Lord to the face. And these are kinds of things they do. In the secret places. And they continually. To cause. The dark world to have strength. And for us believers. At times we become weak. In the journey of fighting against the enemy. Yet they that are provoking the face of the Lord in so, anger, they continually do it. They regain, they gain power in the spiritual realm from the dark world. And the more they gain power, the more the church, the more the believers become weak. But this is, this is what Jesus said. But this is what in, Matthew, in Luke chapter 9. When Jesus had called the twelve together, he gave them power and authority to drive out all demons and cure diseases and he sent them out to preach the kingdom of God and to heal the sick. These are assignments that are a portion to us as believers. You would ask yourself, why would Jesus give us the power and the authority? But he tells us that this is power to drive out demons. This is power to drive out all forms of diseases. This is power to bring all forms of healing. And this is power to preach the kingdom of God. These things must be demonstrated in church. It must be real. That the devil does not take root in our lives. There is need for the reverence. There is need to completely come out of that pattern. And Jesus has told us that that will come by teaching. He tells the disciples in uh, 
John chapter 8 Agamba bayigirizo mu Yohana sura ya 8 Beginning with verses 30 Okuva ku nyorwa 3 The way these bondages are broken The way these patterns are destroyed The way these conformities are dealt with Could be our parents are the ones that conformed with them And in the process of that conformity they even made covenants that are, became binding even to their very children. And it is true as a Christian you've You've given your life to Christ. But the painful thing is to see the pattern of your life being in likeness with the pattern of those in your family that are not believers. So in times of prayer Those are things we need to look at when the Bible says come Let's argue the matter together. Bring out your strong points. Come before God with an argument. Let's talk about this. How comes the scripture says it is not good for a man to be alone, but as for me I've failed to find a pattern. Where is the problem? Why is it so? You bring the case before God. Jesus tells us that the rivers will come will come through teaching more so the deliverance of your soul the deliverance of our souls the greatest great, greatest bondages are found in the soul it is found in the the, the soulish realm And God at times reveals to us the way the state our souls are in through those dreams. At times he reveals to us the entry points that the devil used to access our lives. In John chapter 8 verses 31 he says to the Jews who had believed him he said if you hold to my teaching you are real my disciples then you will know the truth and the truth will set you free There is that freedom we want. There is that freedom you need. In your spiritual life. In your social life. In your physical life. Call it your health. There is that freedom which the bible says that when you know the truth you shall be free when you know the truth the truth shall make you free to become free When he says when we continue in the teaching we become true disciples and that will bring us to a level of knowing the truth and that truth will set us free there are aspects in life there are sections of life where you have conquered that you are not yet free 
waliwe bifumbula mubo wokakasiza dalanti autonda bafuka wadde when you look at your financial life you can certainly tell that you are not yet free in that area ngabo tunuli lobulambo obo yefuna wabira dalanti autonda bafuka wadde when you look at your marriage life you can certainly say you are not free in that area ngabo tunuli lobulambo obo obufumbo ngolabira dala otoli wadde when you consider your health there is an aspect in your life where you consider you are not free as the scripture says that we must be free tunulira obulamu bwo olabya dalanga tonna bafuka wadembe nga obyanu ke bigana tubere badembe friends the freedom means the freedom edembe litegeza kuba wadembe you cannot be in bondage at the same time when you are free toyinza kubera mbusibe atengo oli wadembe you are either free or you are under a bondage obo oli wadembe olyo la oba oli mbusibe Oh, this is what I want to mean that the, therefore Ada still has a claim he has a grip there is somewhere in the sects of your life where he is still placing a hand Stania chai ne bintu emumbula mubonga cha kusibye nga cha bitadde ko mukono gwe And the Bible is very clear it says resist the devil and he will free from you Ena Bible yetu gamba onye ntimuzize sitani na ye ajabaduka Now the church is very weak when it comes to resisting the devil Kakane kanisa nafunyo wetu kakuziza omulabe Because we want comfortable life Kubanga twagala obulamu obusanyusa We 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 will find so sweet that cheap gospel That tells us that all was done by Jesus on the cross. That that tells us that everything was done That tells us that you don't need to fast because Jesus fasted 40 days on your behalf. I mean he did it all for you. Zengamba byonna yabikolera gwe. It is true he did it. Chitufu yabikola. But there is a level where you need to attain it and truly freedom will be your portion. Na ye oinokuberake dala wotu kana ochikwata ko ronno edemeri chifuka chintu cho. So in that aspect of your life. Kale munsonde yobulamu obo. Where you see you are not free. Awola banga toli wadembe. Then don't just go with they that are already free. Tokenda bugenzi maso naba abedembe. You need to take a step and resist the devil. Kakano go not wala yedala no ziza sitani. You need to take a step and they claim what belongs to you. You need to take a step and bring this case before God. Consider that case as a strong issue before God. Why, why is it that every almost every young girl is getting married and everyone is moving on easily and at 21 people are marrying at 22 23 24 and years are going and you still comfort yourself rachi abawala abato bafumbirwa negwe myaka jikugenda ko naye ngoli yawo wegumya and you still you find the way to encourage yourself no funengeri je wezamu amanyi how i pray you can get a zeal that you will have to pour out before god and you you bring that case you bring that aspect why is the devil still having a grip on this sabo fune chiruyi kakano iwe chitwecho masoga katondo obuze rachi stana cha kutte ku bintu ebi Praise the Lord. We must be free. He says he went to the cross. Agambe agenda kumsalaba. That we may be free. Fetubere badembe. The Bible says that by his stripes we are healed. Bible yegambe ntoremi goje eje jituonya. But why do we struggle with the diseases? Nerwachi lafubana nendwa. Why do we struggle with the complicated cases? Rwachi lafubana nebi twebizi bwenyo. Yet he paid the price. Songo mutango ya gusasula. What is what part must I do? Chitundu chiche ninokola. What is that piece that you have to do? Chichi gwe choli nokola. He paid it. Ya sasulira. You live without it. Na yegwe ulimbula mungatochirina. Yet it was paid for. Songa chasa sulira. 
Now what was the instance of paying it? Why did God pay for it? Why was Jesus made poor? If those that to whom he decided to become poor that they will be rich have also failed to be rich. Then why did he go to the cross? So he says when you know the truth look out for the truth in that aspect of life. We are not all struggling with the same thing. To some some aspects of your life the devil has taken off the hand. You'll find financially you're okay. You may be marriage life is moving on well. Your children are fine. But you discover there is somewhere, somehow. In this aspect, there is still a question. We will look at a number of things that are found in this conformity the conformity that gives the, world, the dark world strength and ability to touch our lives. We, we will look at those things that, that gives the devil a grip that he resists. Even as we resist him, he keeps on resisting. Actually, I want to thank the, the leadership of the church. On every Tuesday, we will be in this place. We will have a deliverance class. We will have a moment. We will have to see bondages break. We will have to put in practice. We want to test that which Jesus said that whom the Son makes free is free indeed. Every Tuesday from 9 a.m. We will look at those things which give the devil grip such that we deal with them and our life is set free. And Jesus says he gave power and authority. When does this power work? And he says it is power to drive out demons. It is power to cause healing. Isn't God aware that they are hospitals? He knows that they are hospitals. But there are diseases that are so stubborn that there is no tablet that can deal with them. So with the search, he has given you authority to the church. To those things that are so complicated that when the doctors go through their scan, they can't see anything. We want, we want to see the, 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 the placability of the scriptures. The scriptures must become applicable in our lives. Then the Bible will become a living book. Then the Bible will be different from a novel. The Bible will be different from a newspaper. When we manage to get life out of it. When we get to a level what? To, to a level whereby what it says is a reality of our lives. We will have that class. And actually I want to invite you. I want to invite you. I, I actually in that class I even want to 
invite intercessors. Yes, intercessors have a role to pray. There is a ministration uh, in that side. And as we intercede, we deal with the spiritual realm. And the spiritual realm gives way, it opens up. And then deliverance becomes easy. It becomes easy. God will open the eyes. He will open the spiritual eyes. He will enable us to see the cause of what is happening. Things don't just happen. There is always a cause. Why is it like that in your family? Why is it like that in your life? Aren't you bothered? Don't you have questions? Is your heart at peace? Have you decided to settle in such a way? Praise the Lord. The Bible says he gave them the power and the authority. We want to see the, 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 the working of that power. The working of that authority. Why would demons have uh, a dwelling place in our lives? What is that thing that gives them access? We need to deal with those bondages. We are going to set aside time. And we will see lives set free. We will see sicknesses healed. We will see finances coming our way. We will see whatever has been making it hard becoming, setting its way out of our way. Praise the Lord. Praise Jesus. Yes, we We want to present those cases before God. We will do it in the realm of spiritual warfare. We will do it in the realm of intercession. We will do it in the realm of prayers of inquiry. We will do it in the realm where we, we use the authority, we command. Because it pains. If you have money in your house and you don't know. You sleep on an empty stomach when you, you don't know. And we will deal. The Bible says a strong man guarded his house. But he who is stronger than him when he comes he takes away what he has. This is one of the parables when Jesus was explaining the need for the reverence. I'll finish with that and then we pray. Luke chapter 11 verses 21 he says, when a strong man, fully armed, guards his own house, his possessions are safe. 
mirembe. And actually, he says possessions are safe. But when someone stronger attacks and overpowers him, he takes away the armory in which the man trusted and divides up the spoils. And you just, let's just continue through the line and then he says, he who is not with me is against me and he who does not gather with me scatters. Mm. You know, there are things in life you can consider that they are not gathering together with Christ. They, 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 the whole of this week have been dealing with cases of deliverance. We can know now, but then call a coming to be a deliverance. Different cases, different bondages. In different people. Through all the week. And it bothered my life. It bothered my heart. When does a Christian get to a level where the Bible says, whom the son makes free is free indeed? Those that will obtain that freedom must be fighters. Must be people who know what belongs to them. Must be people who discern what God has for them. And to show you that Jesus here is more interested in deliverance. More sort of our souls. He says, when an evil spirit comes out of a man, verses 24, it goes through a read place, places seeking rest and does not find it. Then it says, I will return to the house I left. When you give your life to Christ, there are demons that went away there and then. But as they went, the Bible says they go into a desert place. Looking out for a place, for the dwelling place. And if they don't find a place, this is their plan. This is what Jesus reveals to us. That the demons, this is the way they operate. You give your life to Christ. They are cast out. They go. But as they go, they look out for a dwelling place. And there is a possibility that they fail to find a dwelling place. Let's, let's critically look at verses 24. When an evil spirit comes out of a man, but anyway, has it ever came out of you. <laughs> because we may be talking at a level where, where demons have left someone, but yet you are dealing with people whose demons have never gone. Get demon it again. When the demon has never been cast out. 
the best you did you confessed but the rest of the business that brings the transformation all the business that brings in the soaking of your life in two things that will cast out the demons you have always been hiding and for you I, I, I've even had people who don't agree that there is need for deliverance the funny thing is, is the, until when things happen in their lives then they go like Nicodemus secretly. They don't want the world to know that they, there was a demon in their lives. But this is the plan God is re Christ is revealing to us. He says, when an evil spirit comes out of a man, it goes through a red place, places seeking rest, and it does not find it. Then I, it says, I will return to the house I left. Verses 25. When it arrives, it finds the house swept clean. And it is put in order. Now this house. This is your heart. This is your body. This is, this is you. This is the Bible says our bodies are temples of the Holy Spirit. And the Bible says that our hearts are storehouses. So, the demons say, I will return. And when he comes back, he finds the house swept clean and in order. This is also another level finding someone's heart when the heart is clean and his heart is in order but there are others when demons come back they find the heart dirty it is full of anger Full of hatred. Full of envy. Full of all adultery. Full of all desire for all things. Jesus spoke it out in Mark 7. From verse 20. That what defiles man is not what comes with him. But what goes out of him. For from within the hearts of men. Evil thoughts come. So, you first search yourself and examine and find which thoughts are within me. If you search a level where you have evil thoughts within you, you you've not yet fought the battle in your soul to take out the evil thoughts. That you've not yet battled with your soul to lift it to a level that says that you forgive that brethren. 
Do not deceive yourself. Your heart is not clean. Jeremiah chapter 4 verse 14, he puts it right and he says, Clean, cleanse the evil from your heart and you will be saved. Cleanse the evil from your heart and you will be delivered. When it arrives, it finds the house swept clean. And it is put in order. Verses 26. Then it goes and it takes seven other spirits more wicked than itself. And they go in and live there. And the final condition of that man is worse than the first. How I wish there is someone who can see the mystery that is here. That the devil is not scared with the cleanness of the heart. The devil is not scared of the heart being in order. Because there are people who think as long as I live a righteous life I don't need to go into spiritual warfare. I don't need to fight the devil. As long as my heart is clean. Therefore, for me, I will just see prayer, I will intercede, and make sure my heart is clean. Maybe into the demon, be a pastor Sakira. Those things of casting out demons are for the pastor Sakira. <laughs> I laugh at you. And by the way, can't you believe it? Be bondage. Let me tell you the things of bondages. Muto aso bolo kubiri omutu kirivu. Someone can be righteous. Ga ku yenta ambula jata ambuli da mubutu kirivu nga ya waguru. When the level at which they walk in righteousness is very high. Na yengo bolo mubuli ko bondage. But when they have bondages over their life. Give you simbi biaga na. When they failed in financial matters. Give you fumbu biaga. When they failed in marriage. Nga, ibienkola gano baku funa miri mu biaga na. When they failed to get jobs. Nga biga nyinga mazima ginyino tambule mbutu kilifu na yebu libu wele za votu kamuba kulijektinga. You walk in righteousness, but whatever ministry you get to, they reject you. Baibuli yegami mbungu wa mutima muyonjo, the house is clean. The Bible said that the house and nyumba nga muyonjo. It is put in order. Nga gutele debulu unji. What the devil does. Sitani chakola. When the heart is very clean. Put in order. He says I will not enter, the, enter there alone. It is not easy to enter clean and order the heart. The Bible says let me go and pick other seven. More wicked than it is. Why does the devil go? Why does the demon go to pick on most seven wicked spirits? Because when they come seven more wicked than this one, they will disorganize you. They will they come to weaken you. They come to make you open up doors. By becoming annoyed. By being sorrowful all the time. You look through the life you are moving with. You've lived a righteous life. You begin complaining. And you 
And they have entry points. It requires more wicked spirits, more wicked demons. And for long the church, many people just say, you just need to be righteous. Those things of casting away the demons no longer have meaning. Those matters of deliverance have nothing. The Bible said, the moment the heart is clean, that you the one walking in righteousness, that you walking in putting your life right, the things that attack you are way much more powerful other than another person. Therefore, Therefore, you have to lift the standard. This house that it should not be empty. The reason as to why the demons return is to find the house empty. The house must not be empty. The house must be occupied by the Holy Spirit. Yes, the feeling of the Holy Spirit. That is why it's key to always find that feeling of the Holy Spirit. Upon your righteousness. Be ready to fight. Because the enemy is eyeing the way you are purifying your heart. And he says, I cannot tamper with her. When I'm alone. Let me go fetch on others. By the way, it is a higher level of operation. Where the devil tries to temper with a Christian who is strong in faith living a righteous life the devil keeps rotating around your life. Looking out for an opportune time. Looking out for what he can touch. That will provoke your spirit. To either curse God. To either begin complaining. You fail to see what God is doing in your life. And the unentry door is opened. But when we'll be in that class, we will look at a number of things we need to do to close up those doors. How we need to fight. Things we need to attack. Confessions we need to undo. Spiritual ties we need to undo. The, confront, the way we can confront the powers of dreams. God will give us the grace. And it is, the grace is available. To be on Tuesday. Just get up. Very early in the morning, Tuesday, you come. We we'll begin our morning sessions with intercessions. And then we will have teachings. Then after the teachings, we will do the practical part of praying for our lives and if praying for others. It is a responsibility of the priests to pray for the saints. To do the spiritual acts 
that can cause the believer's lives to be totally delivered. Amen. Amen. So, I request you raise up on your feet. I don't know where, um, where the worship team is. We are going to pray. Our time is fast spent. But as you pray, look out for a strong case. The Bible says, examine yourself. You know your life. You don't need a prophet to prophesy. You are the best prophet of your life. And God will give us the grace. Hallelujah. Amen. Hoping you are not dozing off. Well, the advantage I have, I can't see you. So I can't I can't be convinced that you are sleeping and you are dozing off. So I will assume you are watching. And so I will I will pray as though you are watching. I'll pray that though you are watching until the prayer will awaken you. Mwami Nyanzi tambula nga agenda kunanga. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. We have a few minutes. Tulina dashika ntono. And we will pray. Tugenda saba. Check. Hello, Jesus. Jesus. Wezde mwa manya o mudiro liyo yimusebi kono jomba soga mukama. E asobola 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 Yesu asobola asobola Yesu asobola asobola asobola. Asobola Yesu, asobola, asobola Yesu, asobola, 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 asobola Yesu, asobola, asobola Yesu, asobola, 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 asobola. Asobola, asobola. Asobola, Anna 
Yes, what's your soul of you now? Yes, what's your soul? A soul, 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 a a soul, 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 a Anna Mumu sai, 
Nekakosona wetebe, nekakosona wetebe Dosiri kangu nyumbeyo, dosiri kangu wele tuwa Yesu ya tuwa manye, siga wele ili Ya tuobu yisa, siga wele ili Ya tuobu yisa, siga wele ili Ya tuobu yisa, siga wele ili Ya tuwa manye, kaku kozesa Oku kobe mio kola, oku fulu mia taimone Nakire mio yejo, e mio yeja alumba E jalumbe nyumbeyo, nakire mio yejo E jalumba makaku, nakire nyombe yejo Bilwana na bulamu, bilwana na makenda. 
tukenda kusirika Okutusa Gatu bade Gatu na chia giza yiniga Gatu na chia tekela tekela Ayi katondo weche Wele soma futa Ayi katondo mlao Aka jawebi siba Aka jawebi koliko Aka jawa akal wade Aka linaliko kurawande Aka linaliko kurawande Aka linaliko kurawande Ninga lakiri okuta Yeah Basenta la la paya Rimo kose ketaya Rima yandelelele Omo yo motokofo Omo yo wangu kama Jali le nyume yo Omo yo motokofo Omo yo wakatonda Omo yo kabobulamu Omo yo kabobulamu Omo yo kabobulamu Dokero kuwanya sewa Dokero kuwanya sewa Mumeme nevi do wosa Mumeme nevi do wosa Endo wosa si wanya sewa Endo wosa si samonole Endo wosa si samonole Oni nyeri ayaso Niko tule viko Numba kane 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 viko Muli nyeri ayaso Numba kane viko Numba kane viko Eviko vye endo wosa Bite Bite oko vama wongo Bite Bite oko vama wongo Bite Everyone <laughs> Don't conform. 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 Don't con
conform to the patterns of your father's house. Don't conform to the patterns of your mother's house. Don't conform to the pattern of your life, of your guy. Bazakataya, conform no longer. Don't conform. Don't find any zero. Don't find any zero. Don't find any zero. Don't find any zero. Be one way. Don't find any zero. Mulokole. Don't find any zero. Luache chava luma chichu kuluma. Luache chava wanu la chichu kuwanu la. Luache chava fuwaza chichu kuafuwaza. Yandala proseke taya. Rima seke telelele. Confirm no longer. Don't damn it. Look at this ganja. Look at no koke this ganja. Nama kombe. Look at no koke this ganja. Nibi biya kwata ba chita fe. Nibi afuwa. Nibi tamuli la mabu kaba. Nibi tamuli la mabu seka. Nita nita. Ta. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't me me yaki. Don't make me yaki. Don't do what I yaki. Ta. You never know Manicho <laughs> Second, <laughs> Umana kwa fulo wetembe Avera watembe tala Yandalala Doli na bulumi Doli na bulumi muana kwe Doli na bulumi mukanda wange Doli na bulumi Etembe ya mukama wa feyasu Etembe ya mwaya mutokofa Dende komba liye yoyo anira Dye sabamu elia yovulamo Umana mwana kwa fumbirwa Etembe ya mukama Etembe ya yesu Aba pangi sanga basimba mayumba gawe Etembeli yo mukama Batambu sebi kere kaba gulama motoka Etembeli yo mukama Aba liba talichi abuto Aba tali songa kaba fuke songa Etembeli yo Etembeli yo yeso Etembeli yo mukama Gabirida Etembeli yo yeso Oku vamo kula uoza Oka vamo kafa metereza Bamba zamani Bamba zamani yesu Basa vite bamba zamani Basa vite bamba zamani Basa vite bamba zamani Bana luana bana wangula Basa vite bamba zamani Yanda la 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 bosa Riko seketaya Basa vite bamba zamani Agaba yisao Bamba zamani Agaba tasa Bamba zamani Nagata gayara Nijuche wama yitira Mula becha asigisa Nefleto musigisa Mula becha asigisa Mula becha alwana gana nachua Sitanita Nemo sitanita Lusaba mani Yesu Amanya gomo ya matakafa Manya galete mbaka Gajitja musaberio Gajitja wansi Webi kambo vya baja jefe Webi kambo vya batu soka Abatu lina koriko kurawanda Luakiriza yesu 
Ubu Nazares, Rakirizoya Samula, Rakirizoya Locura, Natural Chol Water, Batuba on your seva, Natural Chol Water, Bill Yomikenda, Begin of Ivacuba Sutta, Bari Muma Wanga Viva Vaco, Bari Muma Wanga Viva Vaco, Yandelebo Zetaya, Yandalaboya, Yes, so we can die. Bigenda, 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 yes, Bifawa, Bibia Blue is an overfussy, Lurianda, let you get a cosseca, get your Korea movie, Lady Kula Mubafe, let you get a cosseca, get your Korea movie, let some be the Ramagenda, let some be the Obulaba, Avali Valino Kubera, where is a woman of Yabatulaka, Yabatuzako. But I miss this in Senna. And the Wusa Yen see. They call it yet is a kissa. They are too long. When you was have a jet of it. They are too long. When you was have a new fan. Who can I know? Who can I know? Who can I know? Yeah. Are you getting a camera? Confirm not. No longer. No longer. You better than a basata. I am Baraba, Katuda Kuranabo, Abambale Chiri, Abamadira, Wokuakusa, Katutonda, Umule Mumulada, Katutonda, Umule Mumulada, Ubechi Gambo Chakatonda, Echiramwe Rechikosi, Echi Gambo Chakatonda, Echiramwe Rechikosi, Munakosa Femokama, Mobilovia Faye Katonda, Munakosa Feyaso. The chicken mo chonga chiramo, the chicken mo chonga chikos. Yande de 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 mo setaya, the chicken me chikos. Yes, yes. Chicha yomo kasoya, ogwa kulwa te kukenda. Ba mulima, ba musiba. Milu wuzo biya simiwa, me chisere choko somulwa. Gata somula chia yamira, ensi chizo muti mangansi kare, ensi chizendo wosa gansi kare. Rima se yamu, yende de 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 mo, yesu, yesu. Uwa kuzato kaya, le merako, le merako. Muta kwa sa sulwa, banai, chiruma. Ukubangawa kusa sulira na yego tamura go itabubi gebi kuli koto biyagara gebi kuli kosi biyagara gebi kuli kosi biyagara gebi kuli kosi biyagara zenga funa ya baringa ngabo abaskani zobula mubwa abala biyebi bari konga si biyebi no baba ako abali nebi bari konga si biyebi no baba ako bamba le chirui bamba le omo malirivo. But you will come. You are busy. I am alone. My life. Now come. What the man said. I'm moving in the car. What the man said. I'm moving by the gas. Now here you can turn down. Now here you can turn down. Sumulula. Now here you can turn down. Lokola. Now here you can turn down. Atas. Who you going to have in it? Who you going to go? Who you going to be? Jesus of Nazareth, et yo corio mui, duri mala muamad, duri mala muamad, duri mala muamad, de acotorida, miro vos había cuamba, na yo mulo cosi eso, voy a llevar tu muchisikiza, na yo mulo cosi eso, voy a llevar tu comi corico. Akutiyo mukasi gwe, akutiyo muara gwe. Muli njia ya samana atondo muna ba, yandere dere mo seta ya. Akutiyo muna mwa, akutiyo makinda ko. Muli njia senga manya kona, muna mwa butewe, muna mwa busamulwe. Yandere dere mo seka ta ya.
Oyamba la chiluhi Numa lirira No ya ya nirama nyike guru No ma no ya ya nirama nyike kurista No ya ya nirama nyako moya motokafa Akari wa guru wa mlimani Akari wa guru wa mlimufus Rima setaya Nusirika na ye yogela Nusirika Beto moya ya niratu ambaza Aga sota nega genda Beto moya ya niratu ambaza Ente yo nefa Ente jula ba mchiroto nefa Nezi kiriziwa Sabira wa kaza amani Sabira wa nabubu wa amani Manya gomu wa katonda Mubiroto vio Oya ambala amani Zio moya nefa mwetu mbosi Eka matumule meseza na yale mye Duba tetu amu kwa atana ye chikate Ye tirirato lose Tirirato lose Uyambare chiru hii No manirida Uyambare chiru hii No kamba chiri wabwe chiti pakati Chiri vera wabwe chiti pakati Chiri vera wabwe chiti pakati Nasirika pakati Mula wana ninyirida pakati Rima zedaya Umu sayi kwa yeso Baibuli te gambie Tikuo kere vikambe virunje Baibuli te gambie Tikuo kere vikambe virunje Uwanke te kusobo la kogera uwo Te kusobo la kogera mubada Nguyita Nguyita kubanga mulamu Nguyita kubanga mulamu Yandala la la pasata Nguyita kubanga mulamu Nguyita kubanga mulamu Nguyita kubanga mulamu Nguyita kubanga mulamu Rima zetaya Riko zeketelele Yesu Yandelelele vaya Riko zeketaya Sira chakulu wana Ukubanga kumanyo wana mubwa Ukubanga kumanyo wana mubwa Ya Rima zetaya Jesus Jesus Ya da 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 Rimo seta ya Ye de 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 Ula mubu akutewa Yesu ya gama mba wadama Yesu ya gama mba wadobu yisa Yesu ya gama mba wadama Zanta ya Jesus Jesus Duo kere diye wikoliko Rimo seta ya Rika sakata ya Mukono kukwe tis Shon 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 Yesu Chete wachama wanga Masete Yesu Obukaka wama wanga Mwanda nge tokuwa niriza Yesu Balandele baba Boba ngoyamba Boba ngoyamba Yes Yes Banda ngenda ba No gamba ye bula ye mo No mo gamba Ye bula ye mo tonula Ama sogo Waka koma Wana tande kila Banda nge Yes Nake zono Banda nge tonula Banda la baba ya Kawe wakamba No mo gamba Yambola yemo Tonola Tonola Bama sogo Waka koma Wako wate Banda la baba Yeso Nange tonola Zona zizi Yeso Nena rie jagara Banda la baba Kwa yo wato Rimos Yeso Yeso Wabukaka wama wanga Bawa suwabiza No gamba Oya garabo Haba kuwa gara Naba nyekira Okononya Bage na kuraba Oru wanero Waiwa musajo Banange no mukazi Alanda na baba Gare musaba Hako yobu hafu Banange Yokira Banda na baya Yo quiero Oruanero Yeso Banda la baba 
Guario, Guabagoba, Mañomba, Ya, Yo quiero, Ya, 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 Banda la baba, waria yo quiero, na gamba yesu, chino chino, banda la baya, saca la vienti, na ya wachiri, incomi, como na quiero, yesu, mose se cari, a querer se we, mama soco. Oh mona kiro, oh gua yesu guanya, oh mona kiro, banda na baya, aja kolo koto, banda gecha ona, kasa ona, oh mona bana, gua ina kasa, oh mona bere, banda gawana, oh ruanero, keriza, yesu asobora, oh kocha yo, jawa tobira, asobora. Banda la baba, yes, oh, se se cana, vamos a joy, banda la baba, se se cana, balanda la baba, para boca, para guarero, para barrio, banda la baya, ya boquera, nadie, más a personas, cabata guanya, banda la baya, gana ya orina, en vez. Ati koi, yeso. Jate wachama wanga, abeta gaba chiara. Banda goba we, banda la baya. Wali wamu vuboka, akoriende de banga. Banda la baya, na yego agamba. Banda na la baya, bamo gana. Yaka kuana, abakasi badi, tera mo kirisa. Yeso, gagamba, chimara, banda gachima. Come on, Chiara. Ah, ye chawa, owe ti akoro koto, na gamba, enembera, kaje koye, abe ti gamba ga, banda la baya, se ba kore re, oru arero, abe ti ga, enemero, se ba kore re, banda la baya, be ba goba, mama yomba, yeso, ba se se kare. Basse se cane, basse se cane, machino chino, pare giorino, gaba gamba, tare chino chemo, banda la baia, baia chio sisa, ama genda gange, tare chino, ya guapo, ua chio sisa, guapo la mowe. Yes, back of us a second. Back of Guayamba, Abari Mawanga, Basse Sekane, Abari Kata, Basse Sekane, Abari Dubai, Basse Sekane, Abari Norway, Abari Sudan, Saudi Arabia, Naye, Gabatese, Bonda Labaya, Gabasaba. Banda la baba, yes oh, wali ya bakona, bolanda la baya, manyomba, te baba sasura, basa surwe, yes oh, jate wachama wanga, bako goyamba, bako mochana gose sekana, bako goonya, rimanda la baba ya, Amaka, gati gari mosanyo, yeso, se se kana, amaka go, wamo tare mirembe, kase se kane, oruwarero. 
Gasse c'est calé. Gasse c'est calé. Gasse c'est calé mon aïe. Gasse c'est calé yes. Oruarero. Gasse c'est calé. Oruarero. Aïe un porogoma. Abadi mon bretavo. Bolanda la baya. Bolanda le baba. Oya so konde wa. Namo ya ga. Gasse c'est calé. Gonateka. Namo ya ga. Gonateka. Ogwabu abu. Gonateka. Namo ya ga. Ogwenjara. Gonateka. Gorora. Namo korogo. Oya mbe. Wali waba pira. Bayenga petero. Bapira. Yeso. Gorora. Namo koro. Namo porole. Oya pira. Moyambe, Moyambe, Bananga Moyambe, Tata Moyambe, Oya Tabi Tegera, Bemocha Karanyeko, Tamanyeti Dako, Yes, Gorora Mokono, Bamose Sekali, Yes, Gaba Gaba Komeremo, Bambi Moyambe, Bolanda Labaya, Aya Karemeremo, Bananga Fune. Yes, Sesekana, Oru Wadero, Barimo Wetabu, Sesekana, Wamo Satya, Gamo Kazi, Basingo Maza, Basesekani, 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 Yes, Basesekani, Bari Jolida, Gaba Gamba, Jari Chirochimo, Katona Waya Chosisa, Ama Genda Gangi, Oya Bona Bona, Nemasta Pesoni, Mosesekani, Oya Bona Bona, Nepono Gulafi, Mosesekani, Oya Bona Bona, Nabu Ensi, Nayenga Yawasa, Nayenga Wariwo, Ashema Foga, Yaso, Mosesekani, Oru Wariwo, Ashemo Yendesa, Eri Eri Oto, Biaba Kuma, Tobi Rumba, Mori Nyaya Yesu, Eri Oto, Eri Ndakano, Biaba Yokera, Tari Kakawara, Nebu Ari Wasa, Bolanda Laba, Ari Bawafi, Biaba Yokera, Nebu Ari Zimba, Enyomba, Tari Jimara, Bagoto. Toromba goto, biaba yokera, mamure kakole, akole na mani, na yenga vuna, gavuna chitono, toromba gana, wagwa mwayo, mwari nyari ya mokama, tobe romba, wagwa mwayo, wagwa mwavo, wakora nyo, na yari okora, tola webiraga, wakora na mani, bola ndadaba, Na yesente, tosiraba, yeso, ayandele, bechoka, baruarero, bechoka, bandaye, bandalaba, yandorosa, guare kuletio, engaroso, lakula, okambe, sante kwe, bonatia. Bona tia, bota konyera, bana ngera gura, bola ndada ba, wakanya, ebi wakanya, amagenda go, wakanya, ebi auto, ebi ewamwe, kwacho kira, ewamwe, kwamo na kore weka, ruana, ebi auto, kutora, enja kere, banda ndaba. Baku wasa Tori wambaka Kotura Omwami Abaku sobeza Gagamba Toji koro mwaka Omwako gocha Nagwane gotoka Nagamba Toji ongere yo Bandaye Baku amwayo Fire Ba Yes, Goro Koka, Basa Sanda Barabi, Bananga Goro Koka, Ama Wanga, Kasasani, Goro Koka, Ama Barabi, 
Bama Genda Gangi, Baraba Saba, Jabaraba Joka Joka, Gabo Gera, Gondinga Saba, Nayanga Sabiriza, Fire Gasaba, Naya Meremo, Gatia Mabora, Banda Labaya, Abadi Mawanga, Mokoranyo, Banda Labaya, Bemwe Sikisa, Santa Uganda, Bakora Mobinara, Bamoyo, Guaco Ferresiwa, Oh Cora, Bausi Boy, Bausi Garo, Macha Yomba, Bacasewa Totora, Bacasewa Toruana, Oh Rabe, Gayuganda, Bacacho Foca, Abangi, Abadi, Saudade, Yoke, 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 Bambi Yogera, Guamani, Bando Badi, Bawese Gesisa, Santa Zora, Nevariani, Yogera, Ogambe, Yasemara Semara, Bandanga Semara, Tokoye, Bandanabaya, Bandanaba, Fire, Boguayo. Bandala Baba, yes, oh, Bambi Gorokoka, Bassasani, Abarabi, Bamagenda Gangi, Gorokoka, Bandala Baba, Amawanga, Kanasasana, Bandala Baya, Gabo Yogera, Mameka, Esura Yakuna, Dogamba, Daba, Amawanga. Kakongana, na ye, sita kakongani za, kate sa, bayo nadeke, biokora, bere me kula ba, baki sa, yatula, yatula, ah, shanto leleba, bori chuo kuataku, tachi la mamoki sa, ovanga gende maso. Oh, banga simba business. Shantole le baba. Nere koma o. O tani kodi no muriro. Go gamba. Do not walk. Go yoko zesewa. Bafuna kapito. Banda la baya. Bikuera o. Abange. Yokera. Bosantele. Shantole le ya. Shantole le le. Yokera. Yogera, Yogera, Yogera Yembera, Gwaba Gwaba Munyomba Yogera, Gwako Yoko Zesewa, Gwaya Garo Kone Ribyo, Yogera, Katonda Na Kuyamba, Kubanga Yogete Na Gamba, Mwema Tayo, Esure Yekumidemu, Na Gamba Mutye Mwenda, Aba Koye, Irabazi tawele dua, nange na ba umusa, nange na ba tekula. Beti biyoko yi, beti abe kustawele da, beti abe kure mteko. Oh kora nyo, na yetu abe na ba biyoko da. Bolanda na ba baya, gwe mchara gwe, buri akwa kere risa. Oh yota koma wo, yoke da, shatole leba, kubanga yego amani. Eche kubanya wanya, shanto lelele, yeso. Eche mara chimara, shanto lelele baba baya. Bori danga koye, bori danga koye. Baba nga watani ka, tata wangu amarimo. Bota ni koma ni risa, yeso. Manda gezo no, baba ngo zima. Boba ngo tamo kuye musa Boba ngo tamo kunyueza Yeso Tani kanange Gwazimba Bakwa gwazimba Bananga mochino chino Oya takele nizamo Oya gamba tisasoma Shantole le baba Moyambi Yeso Gwako zesa Naba tasoma Banda la baya Oya yokera Nagamba Shanto le baya Bori wendaka Banga na wogani Bawa 
Gwayo, Gwaku Gani Bwa, Bolanda Dabaya, Rambo Salilio, Bolanda Dababa, Bolandi Lili, Wasim Ben Yomba, Nakoleba Marisa, Banangeruana, Katonda Gabirida, Anako Gabirida, Ruana, Mokwano Ruana, Gwako Yoba Singo, Shato Lili, Banangeruana, what you have you work on? Have you work on now? Gabi Gamba, the Wadi Jaraga, Gabi Ogeda, the Wadi Bayam Kwana, the Bayam Wasa, Bayam Soviet Zimbaga, that's the Tokerida, Shanto Lili, Ruana, oh, Madame Yaka. Thank you for you are the God that delivers us. We have a lot more to go. Thank you, Jesus. Tell to all of us. To all of us, Momo, you are Mokama. Mobile knew by your name. Ever they alumi with me, you mean. Ever they alumi with you, you must have. Ever they alumi with you, you mean. Momo, you are you reign. Moyo to go for two. Momo, you are Mokama Yingira. To all of us. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes, you have a seat. Praise the Lord. The Bible says. Um, that upon mountain Zion there shall be the reverence and they that belong to the house of Jacob they shall possess their possessions they will possess what belongs to them I speak the same in your house. I speak the same in your life. That deliverance has come your way. And surely you will possess what belongs to you. You will possess what belongs to you. You will possess the portion of the Lord. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I want you to join up, uh, to put up together your hands as you welcome the servant of the Lord. Uh, Mr. Edward Kalgaba is in the house. Mm, let's welcome him. Man, may God bless you. We still invite you on Tuesday. We'll have a deliverance session. We'll begin at nine. We'll begin with the session of inter, with the intercession prayer. To those of you that have the ministry of intercession. Those of you that have the burden of interceding. Of calling upon the name of the Lord. Of standing in the gap. For the sake of the church. For the sake of the ministers. For the sake of the body of Christ. Let's take the opportunity. Let's take the opportunity and God will build us up. I believe that as an, an intercessor that the minister of interceding it is not a minister of suffering but it is a ministry of working together with Christ. For the Bible says I looked out for someone to stand in the garden. And the Bible says when God was going to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah the plan of God had no, no room for Ruth and his family. But when Abraham stood 
before God and presented the case before God. God listened to Abraham. He detailed the destruction and then he was able to rescue Lot and the family. On the account of Abraham's intercession, God didn't brings those burdens upon your heart for a reason. Intercession is a ministry. It is a call of God. We can all pray. But there are those people that God has assigned. And if they don't do it, they don't have the peace of heart. So, Take the opportunity. When we still have the chance to call upon the name of the Lord. Tuesday at 9. And then to those of you that need the reverence. Some of you have seen dreams that direct you to go for the reverence. Some of you have examined your life and you have had many questions. We welcome you. The grace of God is available. Amen. Amen.